Do you remember 10 years ago when Black Ops 2 was out and it was just nothing but a casual gaming experience? Coming home from school, excited to play multiplayer, zombies, campaign, whatever it was you wanted to play. It was just simple, casual gaming. The simplicity of just running around in multiplayer with the Hellstormer and Advanced UAV were constant constant sweaty lobbies were not a thing in multiplayer i remember that that's the same experience i got from playing the mono for 2 beta this game rejuvenated my love for call of duty again i woke up each day of the beta excited to actually hop on either play solo or with my friends playing tactically or just playing silly and goofy with the some inflatable decoys those things are fantastic by the way if you get a chance to use them in the full game please do so they're amazing i haven't felt this feeling since call of duty world war ii that was five years ago yeah but that still feels like a long time to me i still played every call of duty since then but i just never felt like call of duty has been casual since then at least up until now whether it was the slower movement system the new mini map or the perk system that infinity ward added whatever it may be this just felt like a new COD experience, and a casual one at that too. Now many people complain about the new minimap because red dots don't appear when enemies shoot their weapons, but to me, that really just never bothered me. Someone who just barely pays attention to the minimap, I just didn't really care. It wasn't hard to find people around the map anyways, plus you could just look at the compass at the top of your screen or get a UAV, it still shows red dots there. Now if the enemies have the ghost perk on then oh well, that's, that's bound to happen. But that's in every Call of Duty. The ghost perk is in every Call of Duty. There were also complaints about the new perk system of the game. I actually really like the new system. I'm glad that Infinity Ward is trying new ideas for the perks. I also like the idea of starting the match off with two initial perks. And then earning your two other perks the more you play the match. I just like that people can't immediately start off with Ghost or Survivor or the Cold Blooded perk. I think that actually balances the game very well in a casual setting. And again, I'm just saying this, I actually really am excited for this Call of Duty. I hope Infinity Ward doesn't change too much that takes away the casual feelings. I actually really like that. Past couple of years of Call of Duty, it kind of felt a little too sweaty. Whether it was playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4, definitely playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 actually, as a matter of fact. I remember the time to kill was very slow. I did not like that. Now, I get a lot of people actually do like that, but personally, I'm not like that. I like the fast time to kill. I remember playing Black Ops 4 and getting really upset with that game. Uh, I remember playing Model for 2019. That game was actually alright. I actually really liked that game. But it is very sweaty. There's a lot of sweaty people in that. At least not as much anymore. But I remember the heyday of that game. Playing multiplayer, just grinding out guns. I remember that it was very sweaty. I remember I played Cold War. Cold War is actually one of my favorite Call of Duties as well. At least modern Call of Duties. But it still has that sweaty feeling with the players. And Call of Duty Vanguard... Uh, we're just not gonna talk about that. I've been a casual Call of Duty player since Black Ops 1. Actually, way before that, too. My first Call of Duty was Call of Duty Modern Warfare Mobilize, which if you don't know, that's a Call of Duty game on the DS. It was a funny game to play. I played it with my cousin almost every time I went over to his house. But then my fr real first experience with Call of Duty was Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Now, the actual first experience I had was zombies. I love zombies. But when I played the multiplayer, I just loved how it was just casual. I still have very fond memories of playing with the AK-47 or playing with the, the FAMAS. Those guns were awesome to use. Sniping in that game was fun too. It was just fun to run around, look at the map, look at everything that the, the game had to offer. It was just a very casual gaming experience. And I'm glad I feel that experience playing Modern Warfare 2 because I just haven't felt that in so long. I know that's a mix of uh, feelings among the Call of Duty community. But I'm a casual player, so I really like this game. Even though I am praising the game's beta a lot right now, I do have a complaint about the equipment. For those of you who don't know what a shock stick is, it's in the lethal equipment that you have where you place it down and if someone gets near it, the shock effect will be placed on them. But they can still shoot their gun and also move out of the way very quickly. Personally, I feel like the shock stick should act more like the shock charge from Black Ops 2 when the shock in effect would actually stun you. Now yeah, you were still able to shoot your gun but it would actually stun you in place. You could still move, but it was, you know, you moved very slow. And I think that's how the shock stick should work. You shouldn't be able to move out of the way very quickly. So I think Infinity Ward, if, if they somehow managed to see this video, I highly doubt it. They, I think that would be a good idea is to change the shock stick to a shock charge effect more to have it stun you more. Although for Infinity Ward to make this change, they would have to buff Battle Harden, which is my next complaint. On the perks now this is really my only complaint about a perk every other perk felt fine to me i played with all the perks in the game but when i was playing the beta i had battle harden equipped all the time because of how effective the stuns and flash grenades were and in other words the effects last too long even though i was using battle harden it still felt like the perk wasn't doing much so i think infinity reward should buff that perk for the full game 
Now, I don't have many complaints about the game modes except for two. My first complaint was just a game mode that I personally thought was unnecessary to have and just overall not really fun to play was Knockout. If you don't know what Knockout is, it's a game mode where two teams of six fight over control of a package. Whichever team holds the package the longest wins. Each player has one life, but can be revived. Now, on paper, that actually sounds like a fun game mode. Kind of reminds me of Team Defender from Modern Warfare 2019. I actually really like that one. But when I was playing this game mode with my friends, I was just not having a fun time with it. The maps and just the overall game's flow felt off when playing this mode. Personally, I just don't think that this mode is fun. But it's definitely nice to see that Infinity Ward is trying new game modes in multiplayer. Another complaint I have, well, more of a minor complaint, is a third person mode. I actually really do like this game mode, but I just don't like the way you ADS your weapon. It's weird from going to third person to first person all of a sudden. It just doesn't feel smooth while doing so. I think if Infinity Ward just decided to have the ADS aim to the side of your character, like most third person shooters, then the mode would definitely have a much smoother flow. Overall, while playing the beta, I did enjoy the maps that it had to offer, especially Valdera's Museum and Farm 8 Team. I think those maps are perfection. Plus the Invasion and Ground War maps are just amazing as well. Although the other two multiplayer maps can't really say the exact same thing. Mercado Las Almas and Breenberg Hotel. They just fell off to me personally. That's not to say they are bad maps, but in modes like TDM and Domination, the flow of those maps just fell off. Although in modes like Search and Destroy and Hardpoint, every single map's flow felt immaculate. Search and Destroy and Hardpoint, don't know what it is that Infinity War did with those game modes. The flow of those modes just felt really nice. I think if spawns for TDM and Domination were tweaked a little bit more, maybe have spawns make a lot more sense to just randomly spawn in you in those two modes. Then those two maps will flow a lot better because you're not just randomly spawning you're having a more linear kind of set place where you're spawning now that's really all i had to say about the modern for 2 beta honestly this was some of the most fun i've had in the cod beta for a while and any call of duty game in general too if full game is anything like the beta then i'm very excited for this year's call of duty i think this will be one of the best call of duties made anyways thank you for watching today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye